I'm solely focused and concentrated on this on this goal of mine and this dream and uh, um things going to stop me to uh, mentally physically whatever it is that to like get it done My father is a vet who specializes in horses so that's pretty much how I was introduced to the sport. Um I grew up uh, around horses and other animals so I was very very fond of being outdoors and um you know I I don't think I ever had a Game Boy or a PlayStation or anything of that I was a kid that was outside running around playing with the dogs the horses the cats whatever and it all um let's my childhood i i'm very fond of every horse that's in the stable and every horse has has a job and every horse has helped me in some way or the other um it's just that Dayara and Medicor have come into the to the limelight now because they've really helped team India and myself um you know secure this spot so um uh but but with regards to spending time with them and so on we train every day i look after the horses here myself uh so you know i'm i'm from from the morning around 7 o'clock till the evening 6 o'clock uh i'm i'm in the stable i just come home for lunch now and then i go back out and we work together we, we feed them we tr- we train them we have training sessions we you know there's various things that go on in in the management of horses where it's taking them for hand walks taking them to 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 graze in the fields um looking after them icing their legs like you would do with any pro athlete where you would you know you have your recovery your recovery things your massage your physio chiropractic so you know this is all this i i i believe uh, when you spend so much time around them uh, you really get to know each individual for all their characteristics and so on and as well they they learn everything about you and um the time spent together really develops the bond guys to preparation uh, before in 2018 before the asian games of course we could uh, trap we had meant firstly we had many more options of competitions that we could compete in uh, now the a lot of the shows have been cancelled a lot of the national competitions have been cancelled so the choice of uh, or having the options is we have far few less options than we did before so that's um, that's a bit let's say I wouldn't say it's difficult or tricky but um sometimes you know if you're if you're not early enough in entering these shows you 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 miss them because they get they are so quickly filled up with entries that they can't take any more. So I say I would say that is probably the most different and then the second um which doesn't really matter to me so much of course is is not having the spectators there. I know a lot of athletes and riders like that. that there are uh, people watching or um, it helps them get the best out of them or whatever it may be for me it, it doesn't make a difference
parents they're very supportive of, of of my sport and of me on this journey and um, so they they understand and they um, you know if there is any they they try to 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 keep me in the best frame of mind and avoid telling me things that might upset me and so on so um, that helps me focus that helps me stay um, stay keep my head in in, in my game and um, I, I, uh, they, and I think they, they will understand if there are days where I'm not in contact with them and so on because they know how focused I am and how badly I want this. So they, they, uh, yeah, they don't have any hard feelings if I don't call them uh, for one week or something like that. So um, yeah, and and uh, yeah, I'm I'm solely focused and concentrated on this on this goal of mine and this dream and. Uh, um, Nothing's gonna stop me to uh, mentally, physically, whatever it is that till I get it done.